I have these garden lights which look great at night, but they're not smart. Yeah. I'm all on board with the smart home setup. Check. Roomba. Check. Robo lawnmower. Nearly. Philips Hue lights. Check. But some of the table lamps use bulbs that don't come in smart versions. For those, I rely on these TP-Link smart plugs. If you've taken the smart home route, you've wrestled with having to deal with multiple device manufacturers and their apps, and smart hub integrations. With the lights, I've tried to stick to just two systems, Philips Hue and TP-Link. Both of these are straightforward to set up and they've been reliable for me, but these brands don't do smart garden festoon lights. And I like the lights I already have. If you're looking to buy some smart garden lights, there's a fair few to choose from, and I've linked to them in the description below. They seem to have decent ratings, but I already have the lights. I have a smart plug configured. All I need to do is plug it in. Oh, if only it was so simple. These TP-Link smart plugs are great, but they're pretty chunky and won't fit in my outdoor socket. I'm no electrician, but I figure I can take out the smart hoodies inside and stick them in a separate waterproof junction box which can then sit next to my garden socket and voila this is where I usually do my handiwork but today I'll be outside that's because I need to feed the garden light and mains plug wires into the junction box before I solder them to the circuit board that circuit deals with mains voltages so you should know what you're doing but if you're interested I've linked to the parts I used in the description The lights connect at these points and the mains plug connects here. It's that simple. And with that, Alexa, turn on the garden lights. Subscribe for more entertaining stuff and thanks for watching.